Good afternoon, I'm Danielle from Danielle's Sweet Treats and I'm here on Sugar and Crumbs tonight. Okay, so I've got two recipes today. The first one is a raspberry and coconut slice. We absolutely love these in the family to the point of I don't make them unless we're not at home and it's for an event. Okay, and then the other one is raspberry, lemon and pistachio tart, which is really, really yummy. Okay, so I have written these down so I don't get lost because there's lots of if and are in. You know what I'm like, I'm a bit blonde. So, so I don't forget, they're all there for me and I will put the recipes and photos all up tomorrow morning because I like to put my recipes with a nice pretty picture. Okie doke. So, first things first, we've got to make the pastry for the base of the pistachio tart, for the raspberry lemon pistachio tart. So, one second. Nice big bowl. And scales. You want 90 grams of butter, softened. 65 grams of pistachio icing sugar from Sugar and Crumbs. If you don't like pistachios, then I recommend using the vanilla icing sugar, but I like a little bit. Three egg yolks and 200 grams of plain flour. And this is just for the base of the tart, which I need to pop in the fridge to set for a little while before I work with it. So it's the first thing I've got to make tonight. I just want to apologize for being a couple of minutes late. I apparently cut all the fuses off to the house. <laughs> I'll bust the electric. Okay, Flour, butter, pistachio, eggs. Oh, okay, so subtitles. Subtitles. Yeah. How is he doing subtitles? I've got a clue. Oh, <laughs> hey. oh wow. I wonder if someone's doing it. No, no, no one's doing anything. So you want 90. No. 90 grams of butter. <laughs> yep. You have to excuse all my giant boxes. <laughs> and you want to cream that with 65 grams of pistachio icing sugar. Again, if you don't like pistachio, feel free to use the vanilla icing sugar. I'm dropping knives, am I? Why has that got subtitles? I don't know. I don't think I, I don't think I've done anything to get subtitles. Yeah, some of it's going like different to what you're actually saying. <laughs> well, that's new. Tanya Andrew is watching. Hi, that's, that's Tanya. Tanya. That's Tanya. Tanya, yeah. I've done anything to get so tired. That's what it's, that's what it's just said there. Uh, shall I have a look? Is anybody else getting those subtitles yeah, someone, that Mark's seeing? Yeah, someone's just said I'm getting subtitles. Hmm. Ten year Andrew is, that's what it's just said there. No, some people don't have it according to that. Well, I have absolutely no idea what's happening. Sorry, guys. If you have got it, you've got it. I don't think I've pressed anything to get it on. I didn't even realise it could do subtitles. No, I didn't. That's a new one. I've just got to speak clearly now. Okay, so you just want to soften them together. Cream them together, I mean. Sorry, <laughs> not soften. So chopping the butter, chopping the, chopping the butter up into the icing sugar so you don't get a cloud, just like Carol tells us all to. I'm roasting. I'm gonna have to open the window. Some of these lights. Only just caught up. We've only just started. <laughs> captions are now auto generated when volume is turned off. Volume turned off? Oh, yours has got no volume on. That's interesting to know. Alright. Oh. 
Hi, how do you get subtitles on as watching on phone as being deaf? Um, turn the volume all the way down, apparently. Yeah, good point. <laughs> I'm tempted to double up on this pastry recipe, so I don't. It's a new feature. Yeah. I had to buy a new tin because I've lost all mine. So, um, yeah, I'm going to double up on my pastry just to make sure I've got enough for the base of the tin. With it being a tin bigger than what I usually use, I don't want to be stuck halfway without. This is the beginning. What are you making? One second. Right this second, we're making pistachio. Oh God, pistachio <laughs> pastry base. I just don't want to be left with without enough, so I'm just doubling up on my recipe. Usually I make this for a long tartlet, however I've got a big one because I can't find my other one. A big tin. together I want to make sure I've got enough don't I well yeah nothing worse than not having enough oh my god that's a large box of margarine <laughs> yes it is <laughs> hi so just... from County Armagh again Ooh, nice I have the pistachio icing sugar. My husband is a blank. <laughs> it doesn't say what my husband is a Jackie Adams. Oh no. What? What's wrong? Okay, we'll get you some new ones. <laughs> Just to add to the fun. <laughs> Hi Danielle, I love watching your lives. I'm still chuckling over your hubby falling off his chair. <laughs> so are we all. Okay. That was about a month ago, wasn't it? Yeah, about three weeks ago, my darling. Well, you know. So, you want three egg yolks, but I'm having to double up to make sure I've got enough for my pastry base. Ah, her husband is allergic to pistachio. Oh, right. I believe they're all allergen free. Won't let me use the icing sugar even though it's allergy free. Yeah, because it's. That's fair enough. They I take it from it. leaves or something, not the actual nut. Hide from the black country. I'm not seeing anything. I can't think where that's from. Midlands, West Midlands. No. That like Birmingham way. Oh, right. Okay. Well. <laughs> that road off the M1, it's called Black Country Road, straight into Birmingham. Yes, yes. You'd... Past NEC. Yep. Yeah. You've shown me that when I've gone to NEC before, haven't you? Yeah. So I'm just going to mix that in first. Hey from Brighton. Hi. Evening, Danielle and Mark. It's Dudley. <laughs> Hello from lovely Dundee. That's in Scotland, though. I knew that one actually. That's what angry faces. What angry faces? Some angry faces on the wall. Oh, I'm not bothered. Sunny greeting. Mm. Oh God, be careful with the eggs. <laughs> oh, uh. Definitely be careful with the eggs. Got 355. Oh, that's good. 355. Why it's over the later? You'll go steady with that knife hanging out of it. I know, I've already noticed it. Let's move it before I stab myself. 
Okay. More to the point, are you going to stay on your buffet tonight? Does that mean on my backside? I don't know. On your buffet? Might be. How many eggs are you using? So, for the mix that I usually use for rectangular long tart tins, it's just three. I will put the recipe up for a rectangular tin, but I'm doubling up on the pastry just to be just to be uh, just to be safe because I'm not very good when it comes to leaving things, and I'm always missing that tiny bit that I need. So I'm just doubling up. Maybe from Barnsley. Where are you? Not far with the accent, I'm guessing. From Worksop near Sheffield. Don't forget those Irish girls. And 200 grams of plain flour but I am doubling up. Remember these recipes will be put on the website and popped on the page tomorrow. And thank you Carol for the flour. Because <laughs> I cannot get plain flour anywhere. Missed the beginning, what's in the bowl? I'm just in the middle of making some pastry my darling. Some pistachio pastry. And then you want to mix that in. You can do it all in a blender if you wish, because then it all mixes up together. But I'm doing it by hand. Carol says you're very welcome. Thank you. Mm. Hello from Chesterfield. Kimberly Grant. Ooh, somebody else kind of local. You can get your hands in there if you want, but I don't like doing that. I'll have to glove up when it comes to that point. don't like sticky things on my hands. <laughs> what are you giggling at? <laughs> okay. How are you going stream watching? Stream watching? What's that mean? I don't know. Usually it streams to YouTube and stuff when we do it from Carol's Kitchen, but I've not got that function thing here. Marjorie Johnson, hello from sunny Dundee. Hello. It's in Scotland. Though. I know it's in Scotland. <laughs> it is good way, but some people are from. Best one then from Australia, pie pub. Mm. Well, from everywhere. It's brilliant, that. So you just want to combine all of this together. Again, you can use a processor, mixer, whatever you want to use, but there's no point messing things up just for a bit of crust. Come on. <laughs> I'll sort it tomorrow. The same ones have to be prepared last time. Oh, we'll just buy some new ones then. Seeing that, I've got the sewing machine now. Pardon? So just making sure you scrape everything up out of the bowl. You don't want to lose any or waste any. Extra pastry. Thank you. For me, I find using medium eggs, medium egg yolks rather than large, makes a better one. I find with large eggs, it makes it a bit too wet. Hi from Dartford, that's in Kent. <laughs> You're just gonna. <laughs> are they saying that now? Yeah, they've got a bridge in a tunnel. <laughs> Hello from Dubai. Hi. I don't bake and can't cook, but this is my favourite gruel. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Would you pop that in the fridge for me, my darling? No. So that's a pastry. Wrap it up in some cling film and pop it in the fridge for about half an hour if you can. So I'm working obviously to a time scale to get everything done. So you just have to bear with me on this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is make some jam. So move everything out of the way. Not one of these is one I made earlier. <laughs> no, jars, it's not. It? No, I'm making homemade jam on here for everyone. Okay. So 
So the trick is you can use icing sugar if you want, but I forgot to get what I wanted or preferably use sugar with the pectin in. I've not got the pectin one because it's all going to be eaten straight away. Okay, so raspberries. You want the same amount of raspberries as the same weight of sugar. Same weight. Can we turn volume? Pardon? Can you turn volume? No, we can't do much more on my side. Can hear you, but not your hubby. Oh, that's not important. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> that's not important. And then you want a good book of lemon juice. Hi Daniel and Mark, you must do your lives every week even when things return to some kind of normal. <laughs> love, love, love your lives. No. The rain part. Well thank you. So then you want to put that on the hob on medium at the moment and then just as it starts to melt all together and bubble up a bit then you want to turn it up a little bit higher and mash all your raspberries in but I will go with that as I'm going. So just yeah bear with me. <laughs> Okay. Make sure there's no tin there that's going to set fire. That's what I'm moving everything and sorting it now. I am making veggie pakoras while watching. What's that? Ooh. Um, like Indian things. Abida Mahmood. They're in. Um, I don't even know how to explain them to you. <laughs> if you want to explain to the husband, feel free. Can you use frozen fruit? And if so, yes. Is it the same sugar quantity? Um. If you use frozen, please keep in mind it will hold water, so then some of the weight will be water. So you're better off using fresh, in my opinion, but you can use frozen, same weights for everything. Just it might need a little bit more boiling off. Okay. He has a lovely voice. <laughs> and we're off. It's about time. <laughs> and we're starting. And Paula Vickers loves that apron. Thank you, I've made it today. I wonder when someone was going to mention that. Don't burn it, Danielle. I'm not burning it. <laughs> Got a lovely voice. And they're off. You can't just not compliment him, can you? <laughs> lovely voice. Well, that's why I married you. No, it didn't. Let's get some kitchen towel and dry that off. No, ring McDonald. Nuba, hello Christina Patterson. How long does jam last? Okay, so if done with pectin in the sugar, pectin in the sugar, so proper jam making sugars, you can get it from Sainsbury's and Tesco, but someone had it, like bought it all as if they're baking with it. Um, it can last up to a year in a jar, but once it's opened, up to two weeks in the fridge. And how many sandwiches you have? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're on to the coconut crust. Like I said, I am going between two different items here. Um, so please bear with me. All the recipes will be popped on the website and on the pages tomorrow with a nice photo when it's all done. John's got a lovely voice too. And they're all going. So you're going to want 110 grams of butter and then you're going to want to melt it. He cracks me up. Ah. Oh, he has a gorgeous accent. He's not far from me. Hey. <laughs> eh? Oh, hold on a minute. Married. <laughs> ah, they're on about jam. Oh, you will have made John's day when I tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm straight in the bottom. So this recipe is for an eight inch square tin. I can't find mine. <laughs> I don't know what I've done. So I'm going to use a roasting pan. <laughs> I've been awful this week. I don't know There's what I'm doing. There's a tin in there, don't No, it's not the one that I want. They're not the ones I want, baby. All right. Well, what are you doing with it? I don't know. I don't 
don't know where it's gone. Right. Can't believe it. If it's struggling to fit in your pan a bit like mine, feel free to squidge them all now. Okay, so I just want to melt that in the microwave. I've got a hair in my eye. Thank you, Carl, for setting up all these lies. Is, is there more than us, does it? Yes, there's quite you, a few people. I know uh, Carol does a few, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not repeating myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put that in the oven. That's a F off box of margarine. That's A. <laughs> Brilliant. Did okay. you find your red scissors from a couple of weeks ago? Yes, they were in the sink. <laughs> I got oh, them where out. They, where we said they'd be? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so for the coconut crust, you're going to want your butter melted, coconut icing sugar, shredded coconut, and plain flour. I just need that to come out so I can mix it all in. <laughs> Please be aware what happens in the kitchen stays in the kitchen. These are mine. Oh, what's going to happen? No, oh, when I touch my face and stuff. I'm going to say there's not going to be no explosions, is there? No, I can lick the bowl and people would complain, but can it's I for lick me. The bowl? No, you can't lick the ball. What about your spirit level? I don't know where that's gone. I don't want to lick the ball anyway. So I'm just squidging the raspberries together so you're not just washing my back. Do it here. Any vodka on go? No. No alcohol. Hold on, here's a good one. Is there a difference between shredded coconut and alcohol? I'm assuming that's the one, desiccated, I don't know what it says. Desiccated, I can't always find shredded. Desiccated, desiccated coconut. I thought that was just shredded coconut. I just thought they were fancy names. I've learnt a new word tonight. Desiccated. Yeah, no shredded. <laughs> oh. Coconut. Okay. So. I hate when it makes noises. <laughs> so to that you want to add 70 grams of coconut. Desiccated. Desiccated. So it's just shredded up dried bits of coconut. Let Mark lick the bowl. He doesn't oh. like coconut. Yeah, she will. Karen Lake, shredded is not as fine and also it says dedicated but I'm assuming it means desiccated, desiccated yeah. is usually sweetened. Oh, well, I never knew that. The look on your face when alcohol was mentioned then, Neil. <laughs> no alcohol. Why are you going to be funny without vodka? It's not about vodka, is it? It's about creating art in cake and pastry. Me to eat. <laughs> Is this being donated to anybody, Duck? Or? No, not oh. this time. All right. I might donate the tart, but to be quite honest, I like them, so they're probably going to be mine. I don't get to have this one very much. Oh, yeah. And with the coconut <clears throat> icing sugar, you want 70 grams. Forty-two watching people look. 
that amount of people watching. Lovely. Okay, you just want to mix that in. Remember all the way when you were about 700, 600? Mm, I think the most I've ever had is 900 odd, but I was at Carol's for that. So I don't know if that counted YouTube watches or anything. Well, it was 600 odd in here, weren't it? That's how I'm going to do something until 600 people were on. Mm. What, what were that? Sing. All right. Oh. oh no, it was show your face, weren't it? I can't remember. Mm. Show your face. You're not doing very good, are you, darling? What? Okay. And you want 140 grams of plain flour. What are you making first? Sorry, I missed it. Um, flit in between the two. You trained him so well. <laughs> I'm doing bits between the two items, so the recipes will go on the page tomorrow with decent photos. Just for now, I'm time managing and doing bits where I can. Helen Miles made the blondies last week. They Ooh. went down very well. Very nice. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We love watching you too. <laughs> You both do very well with viewers. Well, thank you. It's more upsetting that they come mainly like 50 50 for me and you, babe. <laughs> well, it's just my part of expertise, isn't it? Right, here's one. Do you know how many flavours there are of the icing sugars? I want to buy some but can't decide which ones. <sighs> I imagine Carol will be able to answer There's that absolutely one. loads. For me, my favourites are the vanilla, every single time the vanilla. Um, Jaffa Twist, Cinnamon Swirl, um, Raspberry and White Chocolate and the White Chocolate on its own. They're my favourite. I like that. Is it, is it a chocolate orange one? Uh, Jaffa Twist. Is it? Yeah. So, like as soon as I can't find my little tin, I'm using a roasting tin. So bear with me. this first over 50 i think someone says oh goodness me lemon drizzle oh yes lemon drizzle is definitely a good one <sighs> i just love them all like pokemon <laughs> so now now all that's come together you want to let that come to a boil but obviously keep stirring it you don't want it to burn you want to cook out some of the moisture raspberry ripple Mm, That's my favourite ice cream, that. You can make ice and make you something. You don't have to make ice cream. No, I can make you some. I might just use a different size tin. I thought this was a seven. No, it's an eight. It's my eight, what I wanted. <laughs> That's why I was pointing at earlier. Is that it? Because I can tell with my eyes that it's eight inch. Home. I tell you what, it's like living with a child. I know. Living with me. <laughs> with you. The subtitles have come back. They've come back? Yeah, they went off for ages. You've crashed though. No, it's fine. You've crashed on my screen anyway. It's fine, it crashed on mine when I did one. Hold on, look, it's crashed here, so I don't know when. Is it crashed for everyone else, or is it just my hubby? You might have to go off and come back on, babe. Oh, no. Yeah. Right, I'll just put that in there. I need to get you a new one. Mark, are you a policeman? No, I'm not. No, probably not a good thing for him to do either. Policeman? Where have you got that from? Mm -mm. I crashed off and on again. Mark, are you a policeman? Mm. Why? I'd like to know the theory behind that one. Mm. That was that Mo Maureen... Uh... Maureen. No, it says Maureen. M-O-Reen. McDonald. Um. Yeah, I'd like to know where to get that from. 
Is that fry light you are using? Uh, yes, it is. The one calorie stuff. Smoke your placement. Why? That's one. That's one at subtitles. Smoke your placement. Oh. Mark was hiding the cake tin earlier. <laughs> he told me where it was. <laughs> okay. So just move this over. So what do you do for a job? Make newspapers. <laughs> so you just want to push that into the base of your pan so an 8 inch tin or a 7 inch it's up to you what you want to use but 7 or 8 inch you remind me of someone you knew I think that means I knew who was a peeler in the RAF a peeler? yeah making quite a bit of jam because I will eat quite a lot. These subtitles are going to confuse people though. Why? They're confusing me. Don't read the subtitles. Yeah, I won't. I'd ignore them because they're just... It's, it's coming up with loads of different sizes for tin. Okay, so using a spoon... <laughs> what? Just a, do you work for the IRS? <laughs> Using a spoon just to level it all out. Where did you... Robert Peel founded the police force, hence Bobby's or Peelers. Oh. Oh, right, okay. Where That's did you find your cake tin? I lost it for a few minutes. It were in the sink. It was literally there. <laughs> Where I wasn't looking. Mark, turn your sound on, put the volume down. How's that work? So do you know how you're watching it? Yeah. Turn your sound on as if you're watching it. But very, very quietly. And it'll turn it off. Alright. Woo! Hello. Not very good with technology, me. No. If it up to me to still be carrier pigeons. <laughs> We're nearly overflowing. Again? Again. We're bubbling now. It's because I've made so much. Not like you. I know. I don't usually make enough, do I? That would mess with the weight where you put in that mixer. What was that? It, like oh, marshmallow the fluff meringue. Or it, meringue, yeah. That was really bad. Swiss meringue. It, it, no, Italian meringue, sorry. Okay. So once that's in the bottom, you just want to prick it for even cooking. Because we're going to bake this off before we put anything on it. Subtitles have gone. So you're only watching it, aren't you, sir? So? You were on yours as well earlier, though. I know. Hello from across the pond in Iowa. Out, my darling. Oh, yes. 
you want to turn your oven on to 180 degrees and make sure there's enough room for everything you want. Yep. 150 degrees, sorry. Okay, so I want... So I like to roll my pastry out onto baking paper because then I can just flip it over onto what I want. What does OBD stand for on your apron? <laughs> Obsess <laughs> Obsessive Baking Disorder. What's with your angry faces? I don't know. I don't know what I've done to make people mad today. Well, there's loads of angry faces going on. Not a clue, my darling. Not a clue. This is taking ages to thin down. Okay, so this is the pan that I've got today. Bought it new from Sainsbury's. Other brands are available. You want a loose bottomed one. So I usually like to use the long part tins, but they've run out. Everything's run out at Sainsbury's. So I got this one. So you want to make sure paper is bigger than your tin. Babe, would you mind going and shutting the curtains? We're like a fishbowl. Everyone's saying that they're happy faces and not look happy to me. Are they red? Yeah. Oh. There's about 100 gone up now. Sad people, don't worry, got nothing better to do. Don't bother me. Behave. Yes, please. You want to roll that into a circle. What? Oh. Use your tummy fat to hold the edge of the paper. Rather than using flour to roll out, feel free to use a little bit of icing sugar if you want to. later but it could be some, to something we've said don't worry if it's too neat for the fact of Home baked never needs to be that neat. Not if it's just for yourselves. I think messy food looks nicer. So you want to make sure it's nice and level. You don't want it too thin, thick in the middle and thin on the edges. So make sure it's nice and level. This is where rolling spaces can come in very handy as well. to make sure it's big enough to go around the outside of the tin as well as the base. Just going to give that a little spray. Have we lost Mark? No, we haven't lost Mark. No, Mark's reading. here. He's, He's reading. reading. <laughs> launch it on like I did just nicely place it <laughs> oh god what 
Oh my god, that's bizarre that. I'll have a look later, my darling. It is bizarre. making pastry I usually just buy it in I'm not gonna lie I can't even make it <laughs> you make a mess oh I know you can make a mess my darling do your free do you freeze your offcuts of pastry you can do yeah I believe they last up to two months in the freezer but some pastries can thaw a bit wonky and not very nice. So I usually just use them on something else or make more of the same thing. So I'm just making sure I'm filling all the frills. Is your jam okay? Jam's absolutely fine, don't worry. It's taking a while, which is worrying me, because it shouldn't really take this long. That or I've just been stupidly quick today. Oh, I've missed one from Carol here. Yeah. If there's any places which are a bit thin on the side of your tin, feel free to bulk it out. Oh, Carol, Carol says you've not you've not said anything wrong. The wall is okay. Mm. Just be some clown, won't it? I'm not bothered. Have you used S and C in the pastry? Yes, I have. I use because it's sweet pastry. Um, I've used pistachio because I want pistachio flavored pastry. You can use vanilla if you don't like pistachio, which is absolutely fine. But I like a little bit of pistachio on top and in the pastry, which just adds that nice little bit against the sweetness. This is the only time I actually like pistachio. Great job, Daniel. Is it because someone mentioned please? <laughs> if it is, it's a bit sad, isn't it? Mm. Unless they're reading the subtitles and not liking what the subtitles are saying. I, have to look I at don't this know. One. Maybe. That's a possible reason. There are some clowns about them. Oh. You want to just prick the base of that as well. Now you want a square piece of baking paper. Just to go inside your tart. And you will want some baking beans. stirring that now because that's getting thick on the bottom okay so we need to add some baking beans so the reason for baking beans it makes sure there's an even cooking and also makes sure it doesn't rise and bubble up your pastry nothing worse so just having a few in there and you're going to want to put this and your coconut base in the oven for about 10-15 minutes or just until browned seal it off. I'm lazy. I usually buy them. I usually buy my own as well. Buy them in as well. So both bases 
in the oven for 10 15 minutes just until browned. So, what are you going to do for 10 15 minutes? Make the fillings. Oh, and try and finish this jam. <laughs> you have so much energy, always on the go. Can't be watching you then, though. <laughs> Have a sing song. No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> okay. Best behaviour. So we're going for the lemon filling. Let me move everything out of the way. That nearly broke out there. No. I did, I can't help it. I like on the voice. Okay, so for the lemon filling, you want five eggs. I hate cooking twice, so don't make tarts. <laughs> I just hate cooking whatsoever. I made pastry today, made some apple pies. Oh, very nice. Is it raspberry jam? Yes, it is. I'm obsessed with raspberry. Raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> My precious. Jake's out of bed. Is that one at Kids Hub? Yeah, Jake's out of bed. Oh God. Like a bull in a china shop, isn't it? I know. Right, you're going to want some lemon icing sugar. So let me just fry mine out because I forgot to get it out. Ow! It's down there. Then. I know it's down here. Uh, Not there. I've got it. See my hands. I've just spilled icing sugar over here. Oh, that'll be there next week. Oh, don't. Oh, lemon icing sugar. Was that Mark or one of the kids? Mark. I can assure you it wasn't. No, it weren't. It was one of the kids. <laughs> that fell off anything. <laughs> All right, on second. Okay. I love raspberries. I do. I absolutely love raspberries. Well, I'll have Jake come marching in. Now, if you'd have made a smaller amount of raspberries compared to mine, mm -hmm. it'd be done now. <laughs> oh. I know, I made well, loads. never in that. I know, it? I made loads. I love raspberry jam. And I'm what are you two doing it. off camera? Not a lot. I went to try and get something and then I realised I've already got it over here. <laughs> okay, so you're going to want 230 grams of icing sugar. And this is the lemon icing sugar from Sugar and Crumbs, the lemon drizzle. I love the size of your icing sugar. Thank you. It's the 10 kilogram bags, which are 20 pounds, if I remember correctly. That's five kilogram off oh, five kilograms off that, don't Five kilograms, sorry, in the 20 pounds. Focus. Grasshopper. We're getting there. How much have we then these bags? The big bags, twenty pounds. Is that good? I don't know if that's good or not. Yes. Is it? Flavoured ice and sugar, yes. Is it? Yeah. To think I say I'll be cheapest of cheap's like a quid for two hundred and fifty kilo. 250 grams. Is it? Yeah. So that little bit extra, you've got the flavour, and I much prefer them. I'm trying to make conversation, because I don't really know anything. So it's £20 for five kilogram bags, 
For two and a half kilogram bags are. So do they do a bigger bag there? No, that's the biggest bag. Is it? Yeah, the five kilogram. Well, why would you need ten kilograms of sugar? Probably the same reason I've got about twenty kilograms of icing sugar down here. And that's a sugar and crumbs. What's the velvet vanilla like? Oh, it's to die for. Try it, honestly, it's my favourite. I could eat that with a spoon. <coughs> so mix in the egg yolk, the eggs and the icing sugar all together. You can mix it in with a whisk if you want, but I apparently binned all mine when I have inherited the mixer. Mark, you should try some of the sugars in your vodka. Yum. I said that to you. I said for you to try some in your vodka. Well, that vanilla one that you've been making for six months, I'm waiting to try that. That's not vodka, that's actual vanilla. It's in a vodka bottle, I can see it with my own eyes, it's yeah, here. but it's been fermenting and it's making vanilla. It's there, look, I can see it, I've got it in my it's hands. It's not vanilla vodka, it's making vanilla essence or extract or whatever What a waste of nice vodka that is. It's not. You are, I tell you what. It saves me a lot of money. Gio. How do you, Gio? Imagine the best quality vanilla ice cream and it makes me think of that. Yes. You could use one kilogram really easily. I can't just have one kilogram or the 500 bags of vanilla. I've got to get a lot more. It's vanilla extract. No, that vodka's not vanilla extract. It's bloody vanilla pod that can see it. It makes there. vanilla extract. Because I'm extracting the flavour. No, from it, it makes me unhappy. I bought, I bought you your own. I know. All is forgiven then, isn't it? Uh, and. I just think it's sacrilege to put stuff in vodka that shouldn't be there. <laughs> I imagine you've got stuff with cakes that's like that. Yeah. Like putting Monster Energy in cake. No. Where did you get your vanilla pods? Tesco? Amazon. Amazon. Wouldn't you do a Monster Energy cake? No. Why? That's a Steven. Okay, so to check your jam is done, take a cold plate. You can run it under the tap for a couple of minutes just to quickly cool it down even more. That's probably the best idea. Mark, Danielle showed us how to make it last week. What, Monster Energy cake? No, the vanilla. I showed them how to make vanilla because you was on about it last week. Again, touching things. Why can't I remember that? Why don't you remember what happened today? I weren't drunk last week, I can't... No, I know you weren't. Was okay, it? now, let's so take a cold plate and then you want to pop the drop of the jam onto there. How do you make it? That's for another time. I want a Monster Energy cake. Fine, I will make you a drink with Monster a cake with Monster Energy in it. What you just want to leave that for a minute. So whilst I'm putting this all together, I'll leave that to set a bit. Spoken like a true Yorkshire remark. I'm from Nottinghamshire. It's close enough to Yorkshire. There's a large gap. I know, but still. And Derbyshire in between. Yeah, good point. Okay. And then you want to add 120 mils of double cream. And I've gone over. Surprise, surprise. I know, let's take some of that out. At least you haven't dropped it. I know. Mix that in. And then the part I absolutely hate, the zest and juice of four lemons. I always catch my fingers for eating them. Oh no. That great is great blunt, isn't it? No, actually. But one of them is. One of them greater tops that we've got there is great blunt. Big one. Is it? I don't use that one. That's yours for cheese. 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 Shabba. So why four then? Just four. 
But no reason behind it, just you want to do four? No, because I took, I've took i tried that many different recipes. I like one with the four and then I've fiddled with it. Fiddled with the recipe to make it my own. I grated my little finger making carrot cake yesterday. Debbie nothing, agrees. Nothing worse. The picture keeps freezing. I'm getting that as well. I'm, I'm not on Wi-Fi today either, so that's what it was freezing on last time because with, of Wi-Fi. With this. He's having a blind party over there again. Who is Ismail? Mm. We've got to wait though. I wear rubber gloves when grating or finally mincing. Yeah, it's a good option. I wear leather gloves when mincing. I'm not seeing anything. Mark, baking is chemistry and you have to be accurate with weights and measures. I'm not going right. to argue with that, I suppose. That's right. Then you want to mix that in. I wash the lemons before grating. Yeah, this is only for me, so I'm not going to. Otherwise, wash them under hot water to remove any wax. Wax? <coughs> they dip fruit and veg in wax, so they keep the shine for longer. All right. Also stops the air getting There's to the A lot of stuff about around. life that I don't know, isn't there, really? <laughs> also, it keeps them safer for longer. Okay. So to know if your jam is done, once you've left it on there, when you push it, if it wrinkles up, you're good to go. If it doesn't, just give it another minute or so to bubble away, which I have done, which means mine is perfectly ready now. I bet your kitchen smells awesome. Yeah, it does. Mark's learned something. I get the feeling they think I'm stupid. <laughs> You don't cook though, baby, that's... I don't cook. Try not to, anyway. Does it matter that the zest is quite big using a larger grater? I use fine one, but it takes ages. It's alright. We're all good. So that's our jam. Nice and ready. And there's a bit left in there. So at this point... Lots of pips in it. Though, I know, but I like seeded. If you don't want seeded, then use the sieve, push everything through. The pulp will go through, okay. but your seeds won't. Good but answer. I like having the seeds because then you know for well it's raspberry jam. Um, before you cut your lemons open, give them a good roll. Another option, if you're not peeling, if you're not taking the zest off of your lemon, microwave it for 20 seconds. You will get a lot more juice out of your lemon compared to if you just roll it and then squeeze. Couldn't agree more. Catch any seeds and pips in your hand. Jam looks lush. It is. Someone's got a story here. I had to learn the hard way with a microplane grater. Ooh. As my pinky was bleeding profusely, I glanced over and saw my rubber gloves and thought, oh, that would work, lol. <laughs> That's those... Are they mandolin types? Where don't you know, like I that? can see that being made into a movie. Where you go like that, right quick. Take a big chunk off your finger. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's You're those plastic me, ones where you go like that. I can't answer there, though. I don't know. Micro microwave. Microplane. Is that what butchers used to cut sliced meat? Similar, Is just it? a handheld version. All right. I only ever buy the unwaxed, but they're not always unwaxed. No. Oh no, sorry. No, hold on, let me read that again, because it just jumped up. <laughs> unwaxed are in the same place twice. I only ever buy the unwaxed, but they're not always available. Had been zesting for years, not knowing they'd been waxed. Mm -hmm. Live to tell the tale. Yeah. It just passed straight through. Very fun to watch. I love cedar dressing, Jan. My grandma used to grow them and make pastry with it in season. Great memories. 
I used to love going blackberry picking and make blackberry pie, blackberry and raspberry pie. Dale Clark Blackler, and it is pronounced Hi. Dale because I know it is. We had this argument the other day, the uh, other week. You make everything look so easy. Thank you. Don't strain with your hands if you've grated your fingers. Stings like hell. Oh God, yes. No, just a very fine, very sharp grater. That must be going back to that microplane thing. Mm. Oh. Ouch. We used to put lemon juice in his cuts if we were messing about when I were a kid. Just for laugh. Are you idiots? We were, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, actually, I shouldn't really argue with that. Yeah, but when that jackass first come out, weren't it? So we were only like ten, so that was one thing to do. Let's join in. Lemon juice, salt, tequila. <laughs> I saw that. Right, you want to mix all that in together? Ouch, Mark, no. Yeah, Nicky King, yeah. Nicky, he's with me. What more do we expect? <laughs> still go blackberry picking and freeze them cheap in the shops. Can you still go fruit picking? Yeah, I know a good place for it. I know you can go like pumpkin picking Halloween time and stuff yeah. like that. And well, strawberry picking normally, but where other we fruit, go, I don't know. Where we go for our pumpkins, they do berries and everything, and everything else through here, you can go and pick your own. Oh, until we get there and there's no left. Don't forget your pastry. Just taking that out. <laughs> okay. It smells nice and coconutty. Smell lemons. Yeah, I can smell coconut. Now I've taken the coconut one out. Lemon juice, salt, tequila. That's a whole different show to be sure. <laughs> That's my other page. Okay. Hopefully we'll be allowed out by, by blackberry season. When is blackberry season? Um, about September, I think. My granddad had blackberry bushes in the garden. Fresh, fresh picked blackberries on my cornflakes with sugar and evaporated milk. Nice, Dan it sounds very sweet. Danielle is thinking of a mandolin. Mandolin, yeah. Oh, what? When I, the thing with the fingers, That's I was thinking guitar. of... That's a guitar. No, it's also a, yeah. I'll, sh I'll Google it and show you later. Okay, so this is slightly brown. I'm offline here, why is it so jam splattered everywhere over there and this yet. mix you're going to want to pour into here and then you want to bake that for let me just double check the timings for 30 minutes or until set but when you wobble it it'll have a slight wobble in the middle but cooked wobble if that makes sense okay. looks like a scrambled egg mate <laughs> at least i didn't drop bowl into it a scrambled egg for breakfast. You want scrambled egg for breakfast, darling? I will make you scrambled egg bacon. It just so. reminded me of scrambled egg mix. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to pop that in the oven for half an hour. <coughs> you alright? <coughs> I'm hoping so. Oh, yeah. What drink? Hold up. I don't talk, hold on. It's just that time, time of year, isn't it? I didn't dare to talk. <laughs> Thank God for that. You're lucky I'm online. You're lucky. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Don't so, cough, Mark. I'm trying not to. <laughs> he's choked on a raspberry seed. I <laughs> know, oh, he's choking a raspberry seed. That's, that's awful. Right, too small. Need a drink, Mark Paul. Mark Paul. Is that Marco Polo? Oh. Yeah. Do you know who Marco Polo was, though? Uh, it's, no, but I know there's that game, Marco Polo, where you shout it, innit? What? I don't, there's that game where you shout. Marco Polo? He, Took pastry from China to Italy. I don't know. Do you watch Gino? <laughs> Rarely. <laughs> I 
that Fred, Gina and Gordon. You guys are a very cute couple. <laughs> Thank you. It's not hay fever. <laughs> No, I'm the one with hay fever. He's drinking the vanilla vodka. No, he's not. He's not, because he'll get a crack. He's not allowed. No, he'll get a crack. Do not touch it. I'm not touching it. Okay, so whilst the coconut base cools a bit, we're going to make the coconut crumble from top. I don't like coconut. I know you don't, whereas I do. <laughs> coconut and raspberry go beautiful together. Elizabeth and Boo, any relation, do you? No. Can't stand G now. <laughs> eh? Oh god. We love a bit of G now. Okay, very good looking for an Italian man. I keep thinking I'm missing something. Mr. Egg. Sheffield. I can't believe Mr. they do Sheffield. change his real name to Mr. Sheffield. Mr. Gino Sheffield, what an hero. Gino Sheffield de Campo. Oh god. Okay. Coconut just reminds me of holidays that I can't afford. Pina coladas. Just holidays that I can't afford, do Bahamas. Dominican Republic. Exactly. I have meat Gino in Sheffield. He's brilliant. I wanted to meet Gordon when we went to Cornwall. Gordon? Gordon, oh, Gordon Ramsay in Cornwall? Gordon Ramsay's second house where they are now was down the road from the cottage. Are you sure it's not somebody them. else, though? No, it's Gordon Ramsay. You sure? Ladies, please inform him where Gordon Ramsay's staying right now. Not Rick Stein or someone like that? No, Gordon Ramsay. Do you know the pub? Who's the other one then at Padstow? Um, He's got like an actual With all the fish thing. shops? Yeah. Oh, God. Is it Rick Stein? Or I Steen Stein, whatever? Rick something. Okay. So you want Slip a with. teaspoon of vanilla. But yeah, I wanted to meet Gordon Ramsay when we were down there. It was well, there. I would have rung him up. No. He left the week before. Do you remember that little Tesco that I went in and I bought them a couple of bits of clothes because I got water There's just loads leggings. of people saying Cornwall here, though. Yep. Paper slated him for moving there with family. Yep. It was there the week before Ooh, he we went down. Who we on about? Who we on about? Gordon or that Rick? I mean, Gordon Ramsay. It was there the week before lockdown to so all his family there. That's Gordon and Rick. Oh. But, um... I like Gordon Ramsay, mate. His son lives there permanently. Oh, what's his name? Little Gordon. No. Big little G. No. You, James, want 60, you want 60 grams of icing sugar? Who's James Martin and Brian Turner? Never heard of them, Buck, have you? I don't know. Rick lives in Padstow, that's where we went. Mm. His Gordon Ramsay, his daughter, posed in nothing but a pillow this morning. Oh, brilliant. Oh, God. That was me. <laughs> I only had a pillow case. 100 grams of coconut. Love James Martin, never even heard of him. Oh, James Martin's the one that's on telly. Your mum bought me a gardening book of him when I bought the allotment. Never heard of him. I've heard of Guy Martin with motorbikes. So 100 grams of coconut. You can make more or less, because I've got to admit, I absolutely love the crumble on top when it's all cooked. I'm getting lost here, don't I? People are just chucking names about. Someone's just said Jack. Who's Jack? Jack's his son, who, who permanently lives son? there. Gordon Ramsay's son, who well, permanently just lives said there. Are there. I'm getting lost. I don't know where the Beckhams are at the minute. I thought they were in the Cotswolds. James Martin is a bit yummy. No. Or is he chocolate? No. I don't even know who he is. I'll show him you. He's the Amazing one that always... cakes. He always says his collar up. Eric Cantona. He always had his collar up. No. So, this is how much the recipe makes, but you can make more if you want, which I think I'm going to because I absolutely love the crumble on top. What is it? Coconut crumb. I don't like coconut. I know you don't like coconut, whereas I do. Yorkshire man is James Martin. I'm not. Oh, mm. oh well. Love James and Martin too. <laughs> You get it? <laughs> Saturday chef to yeah. from Yorkshire. What's Saturday chef? Saturday um, I'm morning. Good morning, Saturday. Ready, steady, it? cook. No, not ready, steady, cook. Is that even still up? You've got three minutes. You've got three minutes. Ready, steady, cook. No, that's Ainsley. Harriet, Har Summit. Ainsley Rick, Summit. Rick green peppers and red tomatoes. Yeah. The signs that they had told up. <laughs> Who would you prefer? None. <laughs> None of them. They look rubbish. Okay. So you want to take some of your raspberry jam, just pop it in the bottom 
of the and give it a smudge around. I used to watch that before ten caught my hands. I was waiting for something about watching it at your hands. I'll be honest. I didn't have much choice, did I? She had remote. <laughs> well, with dimmy, she grease, matchy dimmy. Oh wow! Hi. <laughs> So these parts are down to your personal preference. So I like quite a lot of jam. I'm adding quite a lot of jam. I like a lot of topping. I might possibly make some more in a second. Ready Steady Cook is still on. Ryland Clark does it. Oh. Who's Ryland Clark? The gay one with the big teeth. What, him off a supermarket sweep? Yes. Not Dale Winter? Yes, that one. Oh no, I'm not bothering with him. <laughs> can't believe you don't know who James Martin is. He is an amazing chef and baker. He is good, but I'm, I'm not keen on him. I'm not an amazing chef or baker, though. He doesn't cook. I'm not into chef or baking. I like Subway. No, you don't. You complain when we I get you I don't like that. Subway. You complain when we get you that. More upset that it's shut. But this is also someone who doesn't like McDonald's. Just throw McDonald's that out there. is horrible. It's the worst thing on the planet. McDonald's isn't that bad. It is, Duck. It's, it's rubbish. Is there any jam recipes on mixing it up? Um, Is that a website or something like that? I think it might be. I'm not sure. It sounds like a DJ magazine. <laughs> How come that Ryland become so popular, isn't it? People like him. What's he off, Big Brother or something like that? No, he was on a... Was it Britain Got Talent or X Factor? No, he must have come from somewhere before he that. He sang because he was with Cheryl Cole and he... No, Nicole Scherzinger. He's, he's not off he, one of these Your Only Way Is Essex, is he? No. He started on a music thing because he started crying on Nicole Scherzinger. Everyone's agreeing with me. McDonald's is rank. I love a good it's nugget. disgusting. I love a good nugget. You are a nugget. I know. And a clown. You're a McClown nugget. McClown nugget. But I make KFC better than they do. With crap sauce. I make KFC better than KFC. So. It was on X Factor. X Factor. One or the other. Oh, it's our recipe website. That's from Carol. I do apologise, yes. Carol. <laughs> oh. You should have known that. I know, I should. I'm not very good with names. You've embarrassed me there. <laughs> so you want to sprinkle this on. You can just chuck it in and spoon it round, but then the jam gets all over. So I like to crumble it on top. It, I know it's quite wet, so I've gloved up. Burger King's better. Come to green. I know, but I make a kick-ass southern fried chicken. You make best donna meat. You do like kebab meat. That's brilliant. Homemade kebab. He was on the Essex program. Ah, see, I know was more about Tilly than you. I don't watch any of that. All I know is supermarket sweep is rubbish now Dale Winton's not doing it or alive. <laughs> it was brilliant when I were a kid, that. So you want this rough on top, so then when it bakes, you get some crispy bits, some chewy bits. You're layering a lasagna there, don't you? I like lasagna. I know you like we need the KFC more. recipe. No. I'm not sharing that. No, not at all. I don't think he'd let me. <laughs> okay. He wants my bloody big brother. Big brother's rubbish and all. Oh, God. But it seems as all these people that love Love Island. I've I could watched, win Big Brother. I've never watched an episode of Love Island either. I watched the very first ever series of Love Island. It was Celebrity Love Island with... I think Abby Titmus were on it and uh, Never watched it. Darren Day or someone like that. No, Callum Best. That was about 2006 and that was rubbish then as well. So just a bit more coconut icing sugar just over the top. Abby Titmus. So then it'll caramelise as it's melted. Once you've finished baking it, it'll come out and it'll be caramelised on top of the coconut, which is just beautiful. Yeah, boo, boo, boo. So that needs to go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until the coconut is brown to your liking so you can have it a bit soggy-ish, you can go well done. I quite like well done so then you have a good crust on top because there's nothing nicer than that. Oh, I'm getting excited. There's a reason I'm fat, never trust a skinny baker. Right. 
feels like I'm doing supermarket sweep while shopping on lockdown. You know, Sam, I'm going to do that tomorrow. No! No, I'm going to. I'm going to have music on loud. Oh, dear. Have you seen people driving around with the uh, Purge music on? Hi, from Ontario, Canada. Maria Saborin. She were on last week. Maria, you've got to see her. Maria. Saborin. Saborin. Oh. Hi! I was thinking it was our lovely Maria then. Maria, you can't see her. Um, what time is it, my darling? What time you got a watch? I, my phone I usually use. 21, 22 and 33. Really? The time, darling? 21, 22, 23. 21, 9. 22 minutes past and 23 seconds. Happy? Capiche? Obviously it's 21, 23 now. But you gave me like three sets of numbers, so yeah. it confused me. 21 is nine, yes, 22 yes. is the minute, and 23 is the second. I don't need to know the second. Well, I'll tell you what. My nephew was on X Factor, and Nicole said his voice was like butter melting on her skin. Poor lad didn't know where to look. Can't <laughs> fault him. I'd have been the same. <laughs> I'd have questioned if she were coming on to me. I would have done. Thing is, I know full well you'd have said that in front of thousands of people. Well, how are you doing? <laughs> doing a jello. Snorkel. Okay. <laughs> so, they are both in the oven. Um, it looks like the recipe tart's got about 15 minutes left. So, I'm just going to explain to you through the recipes again. And also I'm what I'm going to do at the end with the lemon tart. I'll be back shortly. So, yeah, yeah, so. We'll see to the kids. Okay, go. So raspberry and coconut slice, use a seven inch or an eight inch tin. I've got the eight, tin, eight inch tin out. So for the coconut cr base, you want 70 grams of coconut ice and sugar, 140 grams of plain flour, 70 grams of coconut, desiccated coconut or shredded coconut, it's up to you which you prefer, and 110 grams of melted butter. Um, so, your melty butter, add your icing sugar, your coconut plain flour, mix it all up together. Put that in the base of your pan. It will be quite sticky and soft at the same time, so you will have to press it down with a spoon. Don't worry about it. It is quite a wet mixture. Prick it with a fork, pop it in the oven for 10-15 minutes, just until browned, so it's nice and cooked through. So then you'll want to make your raspberry jam. For raspberry jam, it's the same amount of weight for the raspberries to sugar. So that can be any berries. It doesn't just have to be raspberries, but I love raspberry jam. So same way, sugar to your fruits and a splash of lemon juice. You want to cook that right down. Keep mashing it up, keep going. To know when it's finished, take a cold plate, drop a bit on, give it a few seconds. And when you push it with your finger, it will wrinkle up on the end. If it doesn't wrinkle, give it a few more minutes to cook through. And then obviously repeat the testing process. So the coconut topping is one egg mixed with the vanilla, give it a whisk up. Add 60 grams of coconut icing sugar from sugar and crumbs and 100 grams of desiccated coconut. You can add more or less depending on what you want to do but stick to the recipe for now. Until you've tried it and you want to know how much more or less you want it's good to stick with what that is. So then you layer that all up Pop it in the oven for 10-15 minutes until the coconut's browned. You can leave it for longer if required. Obviously, depending how well you want that coconut cooked. Right. Oh dear lord. Right. The raspberry, lemon and pistachio tart. So we made a pistachio pastry first off, which was at the beginning of the video. So I'm giving you these recipes for the thin, long tart trays or the smaller ones. Okay. <laughs> large ones or a smaller tin as I used a bigger one I had to you can come through Sorry, as I used thing. a bigger tin I doubled up on my recipe just to make sure for the pastry that I had enough and I had plenty left over so just be aware on that so go for the first amount and if you need more add more so 90 grams of butter softened you mix that with 65 grams of sugar and crumbs pistachio icing sugar People asking you to eat me, yeah? <laughs> add three egg yolks and mix that in. Then add 200 grams of plain flour. Did you use normal or jam sugar? 
normal on this one because the whole jam sugar had gone out, it had gone missing. Oh, Everyone's bought it all. So for that one, you can use sugar with pectin in it. That's what you usually use for the jam making. So this won't have such a good shelf life compared. Is your website down? Yes, the website's down. I am trying to sort that, so everything is through me at the moment. I've got subtitles again. <laughs> okay, so then you mix in the eggs, then you mix in the flour. Um, bring that up to a bowl, wrap in cling film and pop in the fridge for half an hour just to firm up a bit. Otherwise it will just break apart when you come to put it in your tin. So whilst you're doing that, make your, whilst that's set and all done, line your pan, roll it out on some baking paper. It's much easier to handle that way. Flip it over, put it inside your pan, make sure the edges are all evenly deep. You don't want a part thin and another part thick. So make sure it's nice and even prick it with a fork then baking paper and baking beans on top for about 20 minutes until that's browned as well once it's done you can take it out let it cool for about 10 minutes whilst you're making the lemon filling so the lemon filling is five whole eggs I like medium is what I usually go for if you can go for free range eggs they taste much better you'll find the healthier the egg is the more orange and bright coloured the yolk is. Is that true? Yeah. Happier your chicken is, the nicer the egg, the brighter orange your yolk is. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Happier the chicken. You'll find cheap caged eggs are like pale yellow yolks, like what I've had because that's all they had left oh, in the shop. Right. Um, so you want five eggs, 120 millilitres of double cream. You can use extra thick if you prefer it for a thicker texture um, 230 grams of the lemon icing sugar so that's the lemon drizzle icing sugar that I used and four lemons zested and juiced remember <laughs> sorry I don't know why I'm giggling I'm just grow up gonna... no so <laughs> remember if you're not zesting your lemons or you want to use separate lemons for your zest and some different ones for your juice if you microwave your lemons for 10 to 20 seconds you will get more juice out of them compared to if you just roll it and then squeeze it like I did but I had quite large lemons so I just squeezed <laughs> come again <laughs> in the quiet words of the Virgin Mary <laughs> so yeah whisk your eggs up <laughs> then add all your other ingredients and give that another whisk up again and then you'll want to pour that into your, into your pan pastry base and pop that in the oven for about half an hour until it's until it's baked but it still has a slight wobble in the center yep sorry will all the recipes be put up on the snc site please yes. they will go onto the website tomorrow your lemons are large <laughs> jackie adams the photos i'm going to take photos in the morning once it's all finished and then I will put up the recipe as well. So it will be on my page, Carol's on the group, and also on the website. So everything will be all available to yourselves. But what I will explain what I'd like to do to the lemon tart when I'm finished. Eat it. So imagine your round tartlet there. Cover half of it, ice and sugar one half. I like to blow torch that off to make it a bit of a creme brulee topping, if that makes sense. And then on the other half, pattern the raspberries out to fill that half. And a couple of mint leaves are just perfect and you can also crack on top some pistachios which also adds to the nice bit of the pistachio base to pistachio topping so all nice and pretty but keep in mind it's not always about the presentation if you're baking at home there's nothing better than a couple of nicks and knacks there and it looks more rustic and more homely i prefer it messy rather than what are you writing now Someone's just giving you a compliment and I'm just putting all credit to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll delete it. No, it's <laughs> all right. I'll delete it. <laughs> Okie doke. So, all the recipes will be put up. <laughs> um, does anybody have anything to ask? Because we haven't... They're going to take a little while longer. And I haven't really got anything into make anything else for you guys tonight. <laughs> We ought to have bought a bingo wheel. No, we're not playing bingo with people in future. No, no just say we So now, that's how I like to serve that raspberry, lemon and pistachio tart with the blow-touched off sugar on one side, raspberries on the other, and 
pistachios over the raspberries. Baked with love, someone calls it. Oh, I love baked with Donna love. Donna Louise Andrew says, yep. baked with love, I call it. Definitely baked with love. But please remember, please... What's, what's baked with anger, then? And angst and Throw it, yeah. I want to see something that's baked in pure hatred. Thrown at you. Be like a death metal goat. And be a few peach se peach seeds and things in there. Peach seeds. Peach seeds. Peach big... seeds. Pe peach seeds. Peach seeds. Yeah. Peach seeds contain uh, cyanide. No one cares. What mm. other flavour would you use in pastry? And. What was the sugar you used for the jam for extra shelf life, please? Okay, so for the jam for extra shelf life, use sugar with pectin in it. It'll be it'll have for jam making wrote on the front. It's a preservative. <laughs> and for the pastry, I used divorce cake. <laughs> I used pistachio icing sugar, but you can also if you don't like pistachio, you can use the vanilla icing sugar, and it works absolutely beautifully. What was the other question? Divorce cake. Yeah. What was the other question to that? Oh no, I was I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> you're a live person. I'm just here to read. Yes, but you're not reading very well. You I'm need just, to repeat. I'm, I'm re replying to comments. You don't need to reply to comments. That's what Carol's there for. Oh, uh, monster cake will be hatred. No, it won't. Something, something rubbish. Uh, what other flavour would you use in the pastry? Is that what you've just said? Yes, answered? so pastry, you can use the vanilla. It's absolutely beautiful with vanilla. What was the sugar you used for jam for extra shelf life? Yes. Have you already answered that I one? answered that one. Anything right. else, anybody? Brilliant as normal. Uh, thank you for sharing. I enjoy watching both of you. There's only one on screen. I don't <laughs> like pistachios. Use the vanilla. That's Princess <laughs> Emma. You would be wearing it, Mark. Danielle will bake it for you tomorrow. We don't do that, Mark. Always with love. Disagree. <laughs> it's called McDonald's, Mark. I don't like McDonald's. If you were watching earlier, you would have known that. <laughs> Obviously not paying attention. So now this has cooled a little bit, you can pop these into sterilised jars, which I've got to sterilise, so I forgot to do that part. I knew I forgot to do something. Okay, no, so other than that, I think that is everything. Whilst they're baking, what I will do is take a photo in the morning of everything cooled and all pretty for you with the recipes. Is that it done? Yeah, we're done. Because they're going to take ages. Knowing how my oven is at the minute, it'll take forever. Oh yes, what I was saying... I've only got into this. You've only just got into it. So like I was saying, please stop hoarding your icy sugars. Use them. Now is the time to practice and play and make all those yummy things that you've been eyeing up. Stop hoarding your icy sugars. There's always, always going to be the icy sugars available. So by just shoving them in a cupboard and saving them for best, you're just wasting and losing out. Honestly, use them. My favourite one that my customers absolutely love is the Velvet Vanilla. That makes buttercream cakes a whole new level. Honestly, it's absolutely amazing. I could eat that with a spoon. So yes, let me just check on these. Because if one's ready, I will get it out. Get it out, no, get it out. If it's ready. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Is it ready? Ready enough. No, too much of a wobble. I can't believe it. No, I want more colour on that. Devastated. Got about 10 minutes left on both of them. Muff nuts? Duffing muff nuts, muff nuts yeah. are the new weight gain. Muff nuts. I thought, sorry, that my mind just raised then as soon as I saw muff nuts. Muff nuts, brilliant. At least you're being honest. <laughs> yeah, duffins and muff nuts. Um, muff nuts. What was it? Nuts muff. Cruffins is one that I've been wanting to make. People are just going overboard now. No, it's a mix between a croissant and a muffin. So you take croissant pastry, which you can buy at Sainsbury's, make your own almond pastry in the middle, roll that up, put them in muffin tins. Wait a minute! Put them in muffin tins, and when they've come out and cooled, put a little bit, pack a little bit of warm jam on. Uh, no, before they've cooled, put a bit of warm jam on top, then take them out to die for. I love them at morning for breakfast. Go on. Can you make something with the rose and mint flavour, or suggest something, Ooh, please? Fudge. The fudge is supposed to be absolutely beautiful for that flavour. Now, anything else? 
Someone's battery died, Debbie Marley. <laughs> Would you repeat, please? Uh, hold on a minute. So sorry, this is my first time watching one of your lives. Yep. My battery died while you were giving the base recipes for the raspberry slice. For the coconut and raspberry slice. So all the recipes will go up on the page and on the website tomorrow. Once everything's finished, I've taken the photos, I've written it up. So I've wrote them up there. I've just got to write them up in text now. So it's basically if I decide to change anything midway through baking, I can then give you the updated recipe because I'm always chucking things in and changing things. It's a hybrid between donuts and muffins. Yes, yeah. muff nuts. Donut mix in muffins. I tell you, the world's gone mad. I'll tell you what, they've been muff really, nuts. really popular. Muff nuts. About you. a year ago they were really popular then as well. Please say thank you to Danielle for such a great live. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> you put such effort into that, my darling. Ta. <laughs> Meringue kisses, pavlova and macarons are delicious with... Rose and mint. What's macarons? Or is that meant to be said macaroons? No, macaroons are made with coconut. Macarons are the French version. Would you use the Turkish Delight one for... Oh, no, sorry. What would you use the Turkish Delight one for? I'm jumping gun. Um, I don't personally like Turkish Delight, but... Turkish Delight. Make marshmallows with jam rippled through the middle. Obviously, make a thick jam. What jam? I don't know. Raspberry, strawberry, whatever you want to add in the middle. I don't eat Turkish delight. Doesn't Turkish delight come with jam in the middle anyway? I don't when you buy the bars. It's a chocolate bar in it. It's like a no. jelly, I think. It's like squidgy stuff with a bit of jam and then dipped in chocolate. It used to be. This is my thought process behind it. It were a jelly on chocolate bar section and it didn't go, so I never tried it. I've got some flavour in there. For that purpose, because it were a jelly on chocolate I've bar section. I've got Turkish Delight flavour in there, it makes wrong. me feel sick. Wrong. It's because my dad likes it. Wrong. My dad used to eat it all the time. Your dad's wrong. It's... no. Okay, so I'm going to leave you to it, guys and girls, I think. Hold on. You've still got 218 people watching here, though. I'm trying not to bear my hands. Oh, that lasagna looks lovely. It's not lasagna! Oh. Stop thinking everything's lasagna. <laughs> I can't help it, I like Italian food. Okay. Turkish Delight is rose flavour, apparently. Mm. Is that right? I don't know. I, I think so. genuinely don't know. I though. genuinely don't know. I'm not keen. What do roses taste like? But ro Turkish Delight? <laughs> I don't, but I don't think rose water tastes like Turkish Delight, so that's it. All finished. Rose water is what little girls used to sell at school when they were skinned and they wanted tempeh for tuck shop. Really? Buy some rose water so I can go and get a tempeh mix. What well, did you go to? St Augustine's, they used to scam us like mad. St Augustine's. So we did same. Saint and we Disgusting. did mud water. It smelled you were beautiful. evil. You were evil at school, weren't you? It worse than that. It got worse, but I won't go into it. Yeah, please don't. Made the muff nuts, taken them to work, they love them. Alright, people like muffy nuts. <laughs> yep, muffy nuts. Wrong old up. Yep. Okay. Give it it. Give it will it. I be able to watch the live back as I missed it? Yeah. I yes, darling, it will be on the page all available. So that is the coconut and raspberry slice. I will leave it till tomorrow to cool before I slice anything because I will burn my fingers Looks with the like jam. Looks like popcorn on top that. It's lovely when it you get chewy bits. It does look like, I think it looks like... I've got to admit, I like cooking it a little bit more, but I will turn the pan as it's going, so obviously this side will cook a bit more. But I just I need to some custard with it. Custard. Mm, a bit of custard. What's that on top? Coconut? Yeah. I'll just have a bowl of custard then. You just want custard. I don't like coconut, do I? It's a bounty on a cake, and I'm not bothered about it. I'm not keen on bounties. No. I like this, but I don't like bounties. It's a holiday that I can't afford. It's the cream in bounties I don't Give like. Give me a Mars the... bar. I can afford to go to Spain. Can you? Yeah, I can <laughs> afford to go to Spain. I can't afford the Bahamas. Dominican Republic. I love it. Okay, so that's that one done. I may as well check if the lemon tart's done. Well, you may it... as well. You've got time. If it's done, then I can finish it off. Too bad we don't have a smell button. Do you want me to describe it to you? No. It smells like coconuts and cake. It smells like a bounty bar. Can you eat it cold? I would imagine so. Yes. Can you eat steak cold? It's a bit underdone that though. No, it's not. Still mooing. It's not. Did you just say moo 
mooing? <laughs> How is it mooing? Well, it's rare. It's the cake equivalent to a rare steak, that. It's got no browning on top. It doesn't need to have browning on top. Yeah, but that's top. when it looks best, though, look, to me. A pie or whatever you've made is... Lemon tart is not brown. Is that pastry on top? No! Right, well, I'll, shut up, I'll shut up then. I thought it was pastry on top, didn't I? Mm. I haven't been watching, have I? I've been... Where are you what? from? Sounds like Ashbourne. That's a bit precise. Ashbourne's out in Ills. We're from near... Where from? Workshop near Sheffield. Sheffield. Gino. So I may as well decorate it now. You may as well, look. I thought I honestly thought that was pastry on top. That's why I'm saying it needs browning. No, it doesn't need browning. Is that what I said looks like scrambled eggs? Yeah. Well, in that case, it looks perfect. Put it on a plate. Let's eat it. It's a good thing I love you. Just need some it? pepper on it and some egg, uh, some beans. So scrambled eggs as well with beans. Are you hinting that you want scrambled eggs for breakfast? It's lemon, shouldn't be brown. Maureen McDonald, I get that now. I thought it was pastry. <laughs> I haven't been watching. So this all turned out perfect timing, really, then. I'm actually quite happy with that. Grrr. Yes. <laughs> Someone growling at me. Tracy Scrivens or Scrivens. Mark, what would you have been doing? What have you been doing? You should multitask, read and watch. What is going on? Because you said you weren't watching. To be fair, I'm looking at... I had five Google. minutes. Give him a wet slap. <laughs> please. Yes, please. I've been looking at that vanilla vodka. It's not vodka. It's, it's vanilla vodka. It's got it there. It's in the bowl. Don't start. You win. <laughs> you win. There's fire involved. Gio, stop. You don't have to do this part. I just like to do this part. What, browning? Oh, it looks like moon rock. Hey, first time watching and I love you both already, says Jenna Dawn. Well, thank you. It's morning wherever she goes. So kind of melting it on top for a bit like a creme brulee. We don't know that was creme brulee mix. Are you really complaining? Oh my God, you guys are so funny. Canadian flags and smiley faces. Fight! <laughs> Fight! Let me chuck some at you. <laughs> Throw it. You're not throwing anything at me while I've got this. It's not light. No, you threw a blooming knitting needle at me the other week. Did I? And you got me an eye. Gio. Have I got to go back through the lives and find it? Yeah, actually. It's through the dinosaur one. I got you an eye with a knitting needle. What a shot. I could have killed you. What a brilliant shot that were. I wanted to kill you. Are you okay? I'm obviously fine. Jenna Dawn says, Dawn, smiley face, smiley face. Dawn? Mm -hmm. How can we hold it on? I think Danielle would win with the blowtorch. I disagree. Do you want to try? I'd get flour in your eyes and then just run. <laughs> Throw something and run. <laughs> so you can use cast sugar if you want, but I like using the flavoured ice and sugar just for that little bit extra. What are you going to do with the rest of that jam in that jar that you've done, though? Eat it. What, a full... How much, how much jam have you made and how much have you put in there? There's no jam in this. Well, in the other one Just then. Just a bit of jam in the bottom of that. But I made extra because I know we like jam on toast. And I can use it next week for something. Shut up, Mark. You wanted it brown. What? You wanted it brown? I'm browning it. Blowtorch, Mark said. Joke's on her. I ain't got none. I've <laughs> got Covid cut. Covid. And I've got the cough as well. No, you've not. Well... Ha ha, sorry, I was just tagging my mum. What? Low touch mark there. Why are you only doing one side, though? That looks like cheese on toast now. So I only want to do one side. What's the other side symbolise? We're going to put other stuff on the other Raspberries side. on the other side. I'm not a fruit person because you probably know. I know, know you it. don't like fruit. Why do you think I keep baking with fruit? Hey, we've been together 11 years this year. I know. 
I'm not guilty yet. And you still don't know that I don't like fruit. I know full well you don't like fruit. Why do you think I keep baking Stupid with woman. fruit? Stupid woman. <laughs> Are you sleeping in car tonight? The comfier than our bed, it's knackered. I know, I need to buy a new one. I think because the comments are 30 seconds behind, the context is lost. Bold automatic. Bold automatic? That's what it says. Bold automatic. Tracy Scrivens, Scrivens, Scrivens. Lol's yummy, same person. I hope you run out of raspberries. I bought five packets to do all of this and make my dog. Five packets for half for a blooming tin? No, five packets for my... Three packets went into There's my no jam. There's no wonder you're skinned. Three packets went into my jam. I'll tell you what. And two packets are going here. I paid for it, not you. You haven't got a clue about food, have you? Do you know what you're doing? Do I need to take over? Yeah, all right. Wait for comments on that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for comments. Your hair. What? There's a reason funny. Your hair. Or not. Yeah, Carol Shields. Loads cut. of smiley face. I think I'm lost there. That Tracy Scrivens. I'm lost there, Doug. Sorry. Because he said you had shaved head cut. I'm, no, I'm just... I'm completely lost sense of where conversations are going. He doesn't remember a lot, ladies. You've got to treat him like a child. Well, I'm a child until July 15th, then I'm 30. What does that make me? Hey, then? that makes you a... Baby. Cradle snatcher. How does it? <laughs> I'm 27. Mark, you're so dead. I'm really not. You're going to be. Um, I'm going to have a look what day my birthday falls on, because if it's unlike a Tuesday, then we'll be doing this, will we? Uh, probably, if we're still on lockdown, yes. What, if we're not on lockdown, then what? Then no. It's Mondays when I go to Carol. What, you'll be going back over to Stockport? Yeah. Is that when I start snoring upstairs? Yep. Ah, oh, right. Well, if we're still on lockdown, I want you to do me a 30th birthday cake. Nope. Why? No, why should Live? I do anything? Oh, that... Everything's my choice? No, I'm not making anything. Everything is scrutinised by me, live on the air? No! You just haven't got no sense of imagination. We'll do that on my page. This is a, that's not for Carol's page. Oh right, okay. What date in July? Fifteenth. Oh, if it's your birthday, will you be on the vodka? Probably not. I disagree. I agree, Mark. See, everyone agrees. No, please don't give him ideas. No, sorry, I forgot that this were Carol's. No, no, a brilliant idea, Mark. No, I forgot that this were Not mine. sugar and crumbs, yeah. No, sorry. We used to call a teacher with no hair bold automatic. Well, that's a stupid name. Oh, wow. So just a couple of pistachios. Oh, at school. I'm lost here. No, sorry, look, I forgot that this was Carol's thing. Carol's page. When are you on your own page next? Monster Energy Cave. Monster Energy Cake, people are crying out for it. You can make cupcakes for Dr Pepper. It's not Monster Energy. That. No, it's not Monster Energy though, is it? How would you go about doing that? Pour it into a cake mix. Yeah, but would it still go as normal? I'm pretty sure I've seen somewhere on Facebook, you know when there's those little videos, someone replacing eggs with Monster Energy? Would you need to use sugar? Because the amount of sugar in Monster Energy would replace... Anything. You can oh, build a skyscraper with sugar and monster energy. And Ribena. Vodka cake with vodka sauce and SNC vodka icing. I don't think Carol Why does he do a vodka icing? No, they don't. Stop giving him ideas. You have the same birthday as me, Mark. St. Swithin's Day. What's that? I don't know. I've heard of it. I've I really have heard of it. I'm not trying to play dumb here, but since with my son would love Dr Pepper cupcakes. Just having some larger pistachios. Don't change subject. <laughs> Looks like broccoli. It's not broccoli, it's and then green. you can add some mint leaves as well if you want. 
You've done more than half there, Doug. It's uneven. I'm your biggest critic, Doug, aren't I? And you ate it. I'm probably going to give this to my dad, let's be honest. There's 15 teaspoons of sugar in Monster Drink. Well, there's 25 in Ribena. Oh, God. Or is it 22? Something like that. There's more sugar in Ribena than there is in Monster Energy. Is it? I think it was Yazoo. No, there's, there's five. Yazoo. No, Yazoo is like the second to top, and then Ribena is the top for sugar. Monster Energy and Red Bull are on the same in the middle. Mm -hmm. Then it goes like normal orange juice and summer towels. The top five highest sugars, Monster Energy is right in the middle. On St. Swithin's Day, it, rains. it said to rain for the next 40 days. That's why I've never celebrated a sunny birthday. It's always rained. Sorry, 40, not 30. Well, that's me wrong. What else are you doing, Duck? Is that it? Yes, my darling. So that is the raspberry pistachio tart. Looks lovely, that, babe. Scrambled egg pie. Not even going to fit on there. No, it's not. We need some bigger plates. <laughs> I need a better thing to present on. I don't make things to present to people. You're not Gordon Ramsay, are you? No. You're more Gordon from Thomas Tank. <laughs> <laughs> the number four engine. <laughs> the fact that you know exactly what number engine no, he is. That's wrong. That's my birthday, 15th of July, Maureen Mitchell. Happy birthday, Maureen Mitchell. 15th. For then? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to balance that back on there. No, I'm not. I'm going to be sensible and put it flat. Just put it somewhere. I'm going to be sensible. Look at all the room you've got. You ain't got to faff about putting it on tins of milk. It's just something to lift off of there. No, no, it's just something to try and show off. And then it goes wrong and then you end up blaming me for it. No. Down. Why didn't you tell me to stop? No, Why don't. didn't you suggest something else? Why were you in the house? Do you want suffocating? Why weren't you at work that night? Right. 15th of July is a Wednesday, so I'll be at work then. But Tuesday 14th, which is Jake's birthday. I know. Giggity giggity. I've already bought the weekend off for boy's birthday. We don't need to, it's a Tuesday. Yeah, but I've booked the weekend off before Tuesday. and the weekend after for Jake's birthday party. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What party? Mm -hmm, the one I throw him every year. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Slice one, slice from one plate to the other. I would, but it's all hot what? and I want to save it for a decent photo in the morning. So, sense. this is the raspberry and coconut slice, which is just to die for. And then this is a lemon, pistachio and raspberry tart with extra jam because I can. This sounds quite adult. Right. It was such a clean release from the tin. Yeah. That sounds like it needs to be in an adult book. I'm sorry it does. I'm just sorry. Right, you stop. Crack me up. Just what we need in lockdown. Okay, Jeez. guys. So that is everything. What time is it? Am I actually finished on time for once? I'm either early or I'm late every single time. Sean. 21.54 and 23. Nice. I'm six minutes early. <laughs> what have you got for six minutes? So we've minutes? made plenty. I'm not making anything in six minutes. Okay, guys. Okay. So. Good. <laughs> no. Good. Okay, guys. So that is everything. I will take photos in the morning and I will also write up the recipes and pop it on the website, on the pages. And I'll also, yeah. Nice well done you two, looks gorgeous. Thank you, I'm very proud of myself and I did my utmost to make it look brilliant. You're not going to survive the night. Well done, right. Mark. Thank you everybody Thank and you have man. a lovely evening and please use your sugars and make them into anything. As you saw, I made sweet short crust pastry, perfect for your tarts using the icing sugar. Post your own creations. Yeah, post your own creations. Tag me in them, tag sugar and crumbs. Tag me. Share everything that you're making. I'll try it. Yep. You Share everything you're making, guys. We all love to see them. Make sure you put them in the groups. Everyone loves it. So, thank you very much for joining us tonight on Sugar and Crumbs with Danielle Kreitch and uh, from Danielle's Sweet Treats. So, yes, thank you whoa, very much, what, guys. Whoa, oh, whoa, what's whoa, the whoa. website? What's the website? Website's crashed. If you want anything, go straight through me. Mark's dead. I'm not, but what's the <laughs> website? Mark's not dead yet.
But the website is currently... I don't know what's happening with what, it. What, your it's website? Just, yeah. It's playing up. I've emailed them. You paid your I'm bill? Just for it. Yes, it's been paid. I've emailed them, but they've not got back to me yet, so I don't know if they're in or not. So, right. Thank you very much, everybody, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Make something else. Mark, are you not going to press the button again? This is like the fifth time in a row. Leslie not Rose the says make something else. No. Oh, sorry. Fifth time in a row you've not pressed the button. Where's the button? <laughs> Which button? Thanks, what guys. do I press? Oh, finished. Sorry. <laughs>